My name is Serana Nolibo. I'm from Bau Teilevo. Being creative had been nurtured uh, in me at a very young age. Um, I come from a very big family and uh, creativity, um, I can say it was essential for our survival. Uh, we used to watch our late parents use food and um, natural resources that was available uh, for our daily use. I live in a cottage by the sea and throughout the years we noticed the accumulation of rubbish along the shore there. So I decided to do something about it. And you know the poor sea creatures you know they eat it and they swallow it and then you know things it's it's not it's a vicious circle and it's all man-made and so I decided okay I turned those little pieces into earrings and that's how my little business Trash to Treasures started welcome everybody all, all the viewers uh, welcome to my little corner of the world where all the magic um, happens. Uh, today I've got a, my little friend here um, from the village keeping me company today. Yeah. And uh, what's your name, dear? Ulamila. And Five, uh, nine years old. Okay. All right. This is where we start. To make the paper beads, you will need a ruler, a pen, scissors, and something firm to work on. I got this recycled plastic sheet. And of course, the paper. As you can see, this is a piece of uh, a page from a magazine. And uh, we also use the A4 paper, recycled paper. This is a used recycled paper. And uh, okay, we shall start. What you need to do is you, you mark your the page right across the bottom and then you do the same thing on the top. One centimeter. Okay. Then you take the ruler the bottom from the bottom, the corner of the, the page, you line your um, ruler at an angle, like so, to the first centimeter, where you've marked your first centimeter. And you rule. While I'm doing that, I'm going to ask my little assistant here, to finish coloring her paper. So while she's doing that, we'll get back here. Then from their first centimeters, the top centimeters, Again, with your ruler at an angle, to the bottom of your first centimeter. And you do that right across. Same thing, you angle your ruler.
so your what you're ruling so your page should look like this it's almost like a triangle so once you've done that now you get your scissors and you cut it's very important when you're cutting your strips of paper that it's straight because if you don't cut it straight and when you, it's time for you to roll your paper it's going to be all over the place you won't get the even um, evenness in your bead so like so cut your paper get your strips of paper like that. Okay, I've cut some here already, like this. So you end up with strips of paper like this. Now what you do, it depending on the volume of your bead, whether you want a very small bead, then you use just one strip of paper, but if you want it a little bit bigger, the volume is a little bit bigger, thicker, your bead, then you lay your paper. So, so what you do is that you, I'm going to use three strips of paper, and you just put them together like this. almost get to the end like this and like that then you take your glue and you put a bit of glue at the Get a toothpick and stick the thing there like that. This is Mod Podge. It um, waterproofs the bead. Just stick it here and let it dry. So when it's really dry, then you put another coat on it. Yes. And better still, three coats. As you can see, this one here has three coats of the Mod Podge. And you get the shine and you get... Um, uh, it's just a perfect finish, perfect look to the bead. I use um, recycled paper. Um, and that includes uh, the A4, the Fiji Times, uh, the newspapers, uh, magazines, uh, and um, I also used plastic. And the latest uh, thing that I use now is uh, fabric, pieces of fabric. Yeah. <clears throat> 
Um, I have, there's a lot of uh, material. I have a lot of material. But the only thing that is a challenge now is the fittings. To complete my pieces, uh, I need fittings and most of it, uh, it comes from overseas. There are some here locally, but the, the variety or the range of fittings is limited. Yeah, and so that's one of the, the challenges now is to, to get the fittings that uh, you know, I like using. Yes, Fiji Arts Council is doing a great job. We need to preserve our culture and our tradition. That's our identity. And we need to preserve it. And it must not be lost. And yes, it's not too late. Um, and uh, like I said, they are doing a really wonderful job keeping our culture alive. We now have a label Fiji Arts Council. And I also would like to take this opportunity to uh, thank the Alifa Foundation of uh, Switzerland for this huge and generous donation that you are given to the people of Fiji. I can safely say here that every each individual is very appreciative for this gesture that you have done for Fiji. And God bless Switzerland.